12,000 members, they are the largest learning community in the UK. They help and support customers by providing a dedicated learning consultant, a tailored on-site induction, unlimited email and phone support, free setup configuration and on-site coaching. To start off, I would just like to ask you about yourselves. Describe yourself in three words. Energetic. Creative. And a bit strange. What about you, Kevin? Energetic, sorry, I still have one. Um, funny. Um, and with more words, but work hard. Or work hard. Do you think these factors come into your work? Yep, yeah, I think so. I think with our job, it's, well, I speak for myself in terms of I do a lot of travel. Um, so it's quite, it's quite, quite heavy going. Um, getting up nice and early. Um, Lisa, like, yeah. yourself? Creativity is really marketing. important. Working in the marketing team and getting new ideas and new branding and uh, making things look. Just a bit like our art class, isn't it? I would tell to everybody I wanted to grow up and have a really, really weird job. Yes. Really something crazy like being a fairy. When you were growing up, what did you think yours was going to be? I remember at school whenever I was your age. I wasn't really that long ago. Um, but I wanted to be a Formula One racing driver. Ooh, interesting. Mm -hmm. That's what my teacher said as well. Interesting. Uh, but they soon put me off, put me off the subject, and here I am now working in marketing for Nairnabin. Had two different jobs. So the first thing I wanted to be was a keyboard player in a, a band. Uh, um, they say, well, I got over that quite quickly, and then I wanted to be an architect because I like doing art. But I didn't like maths. I wasn't great at maths. But um, I ended up in doing some business studies and you know, holding and learning programs. Well. Yeah, I love it. Love it. So. As I said, I travel quite a lot, so you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes when you get a flight, so you have to love a job if you want to do that, but no, I absolutely love it. Love working with customers, um, love the conferences we do, um, but we've got a great team in there as well. We all get on really well each other. Where does the fire shoot travel? Above work or outside of work? At work. Work? Norwich. Norwich? <laughs> Not the nicest place in the world to want to be. <laughs> no, Norwich probably is the furthest. Um, outside of work, um, New Zealand. Well, but you do travel in your work? I do. I travel because as part of the marketing team, we would travel to events and exhibitions. So maybe kind of the face of Liverpool. Um, and then I would also organise events at Liverpool, hold like our conferences called Liverpool Life. And we have so many events throughout. But so work, the first I've worked, the furthest I've travelled to is uh, Cancun, Mexico. 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 Mm -hmm. um, do you think it's like want to help people? Like, is that where the passion for them comes from? Mm. I think it's part of our part of our the, the mission. That Kevin and I talked about is that we genuinely want to help organisations provide low cost, accessible learning for their employees. So we would work a lot with charities as well, and with the Northern Ireland Hospice is one of our kind of mm. customers that we like to support. Mm -hmm. yeah. And deliver learning content that helps the likes of social social, work, social workers do their jobs as good as they can when working with children and vulnerable adults. So that type of help ethos comes down from our chief executive Paul McIlvany to ourselves, who see our customers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as you said, it's part of our mission. It's part of our makeup. I think we just. It's very much of a community type organisation, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So we get on really well with our customers. We have some really good relationships with some of our customers. Um, and we get on very, very well. Um, we have our annual conferences and we usually set up some parties before and after mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but no, we're very much about, it's very much about having what we call like a, a sticky relationship with our customers so they, they stay with us so they don't go away mm -hmm. and spend some money or <laughs> work with, our, with our, uh, our companies. Have you ever felt like you've changed someone's life? For the best. With learning pool? Yes. Um, I think, I don't know if it changes people's lives. Um, maybe not going that far, but it, it definitely it makes their working life much, yes. much better. Um, you know, what we do with our customers and what we, we teach our customers to do with, with our products it just makes their job much more creative and much more enjoyable. So, probably in a way, it does change people's mm -hmm. lives because 
maybe they don't like when they work on the Monday morning, but hopefully the products we give them and the relationships mm -hmm. we have makes their yeah. life so much easier when they get there in the Monday morning. You would have learning content for people to help them with their, their skills in the workplace. Maybe they're under massive stress mm -hmm. with their emails, their inboxes just flooded. Those of you who have an email, how to manage email stress module that they can take. And hopefully that does help them in their, their working life. Yeah. First student. I'm interested in my career and what would you In the career of marketing, mm -hmm. um, in my career I would advise them to be creative in everything they do. And mm -hmm.